Good morning. It's Monday, June 1st, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Creation and Awe, and our scripture is Psalm 104. O Lord, what a variety of things you've made. In wisdom you've made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the ocean, vast and wide, teeming with life of every kind, both large and small. See the ships sailing along, and Leviathan, which you made to play in the sea. They all depend on you to give them food as they need it. When you supply it, they gather it. You open your hand to feed them, and they are richly satisfied. But if you turn away from them, they panic. When you take away their breath, they die and turn again to dust. When you give them your breath, life is created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord continue forever. The Lord takes pleasure in all he has made. The earth trembles at his glance. The mountains smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God to my last breath. May all my thoughts be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. This passage moves from the general to specific. The psalmist begins with a vast diversity, the general of God's creation. What a variety of things you've made. To the prayer of a specific man for what God has done. This is nothing more or less than the fundamental essence of worship. We see what God has done and awe pours forth. Wells are monstrously huge. I've never been up close enough to touch one, but you can't watch the Nature Channel without getting that perspective. Sooner or later, you'll see somebody swimming alongside Leviathan, literally the sea monster, a whale. Even on a TV screen, you get the sense of being next to a wall that's breathing. And yet, says the psalmist, this moving skyscraper is made to play in the sea. Frankly, when I think of whales, my mind immediately goes to Moby Dick and harpoons and ships full of blubber and oil. I don't easily associate playfulness with whales. But God has put that in all his creatures, even the scariest of them, to us. The psalmist's reaction to the awe he obviously felt while considering God's creative power and majesty is a reminder of the slippery slope to which we can fall victim if we're not prudently watchful over our emotions and senses. It's a small leap, but a very costly one, to begin to worship creation itself rather than be in awe of the creation and maintain the focus on Creator. The Apostle Paul shows us that God considers that sinful. It's a break with trust in God. And it leads to all sorts of mayhem to the soul and spirit of man for which God had much different and better plans. Romans chapter 1, Paul explains. But God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. They know the truth about God because he's made it obvious to them. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. Yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they began to think of foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused. Claiming to be wise, they instead became utter fools. And instead of worshipping the glorious, ever-living God, they worshipped idols made to look like mere people and birds and animals and reptiles. So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their hearts desired. As a result, they did vile and degrading things with each other's bodies. They traded the truth about God for a lie. So, they worshipped and served the things God created instead of the Creator Himself, who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. Let's you and I pray together. Father God, our hearts, minds, soul, and spirit are always touched by the majesty of what you've created. Help us to keep our very beings focused on the who 
of creation more than the what of creation. For you today, creation invokes awe, but our creator is the source of both the created realm and the awe it inspires. So don't make an idol of what you can see. God, after all, is who created even your eyes. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.